you are unknowingly destroying your hair every single day. Ever dreamt of flaunting hair as luscious and vibrant as FX Zara's? Dive in as we unravel some of her top secrets and game-changing tips that have taken the YouTube hair community by storm. The practices you think are harmless might be the very reason that your hair is not thriving. Let's dive into hair care mistakes that you're probably making that are definitely sabotaging your hair's health, as well as how to fix them. I've been there, staring at the mirror, wondering why my hair looks lifeless and brittle. It felt like no matter what I did, I was always two steps behind. But then I uncovered these mistakes that we're about to share, and it was a game changer. Today, we're uncovering hair care practices that are definitely more harmful than helpful. From the way you wash your hair to the unexpected benefits of meditating, we're breaking it all down. Hey Z-Stars, welcome to the FX Zara channel. I'm Zara, your hair care guide, and together we're going on a journey to luscious locks. If you're new here and ready for a hair care transformation, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any more uploads. Give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to share it with your friends. I'd also love for you to drop a comment that says Hair Revolution with FX Zara, followed by your name. Let's build a genuine community of hair care enthusiasts. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the video and be sure to watch the ads all the way through so I can keep my channel honest and sustainable just for you. Washing frequency. Let's start with washing. Too often and you strip your hair of its natural oils. Too infrequently and hello dust and pollutants. Aim for a balance to keep your hair vibrant. Now, washing the hair is extremely important especially washing the scalp. There is a way to wash the hair and I've shared that process in my wash day video, as well as this video breaking down exactly how to approach washing your hair for your most flawless hair ever. Just to give you guys a quick taste of what's in that video, I personally aim to wash my hair at least once a week. If I stretch it too far, the longest I will go is just two weeks. <laughs> my scalp is really sensitive, so I need to ensure that I'm washing my hair very regularly to keep my scalp healthy and happy. Now, aside from that, it's not helpful to put products over hair that is dirty. And there's a lot of pollution in the air, of course, depending on where you live in the world. There's also dust and debris in the air, which can easily stick to your hair, as well as the products that are already in your hair. It's very important and super necessary for maintaining good hygiene to wash your hair very regularly. Neglecting scalp care. Your scalp is the foundation of your hair health. Regular exfoliation and hydration are absolutely non-negotiable. For those of you that have inflammation, that have the itchies, that have dandruff or dry scalp, you need to be even more astute with your scalp care. Even oily scalps, the scalp is super important. Again, I reiterate, it is the foundation of hair care. If your scalp is not healthy, if your scalp is not clean, your hair is not going to grow the way that it's supposed to. Are you aware that if your scalp, the follicles are obstructed by debris, your hair strand will actually be thinner as a result? If that's not horrifying, I don't know what is. Your hair might genetically be thin, but your hair could also be thin because your scalp is perpetually dirty. Washing your hair every six months is simply not kosher. Washing your hair every four months, every three months, every two months is not kosher. And if you insist on stretching as long as a month, which personally I'm not keen on, then you need to find other more creative ways to cleanse your scalp. That could be using something like witch hazel or sea breeze, which are up on the screen and in the description box down below so you can check out. And using a cotton pad to just gently clean the rows of your scalp. But it's super important, no matter how you do it, to cleanse your scalp. You can also opt for micellar water, which is something that I like to use when I have braids especially, because it gets into the parts really well and just removes all of the oil and debris extremely effectively. I'm not the kind of person to go long periods without washing my hair. My scalp is very sensitive. There's no need for me to try that nonsense. It's not, it's not cute. It's not gonna work for me. I prefer to ensure that my scalp environment is not just so my hair can thrive, but also so that I can feel balanced and satisfied. You know, speaking of scalp care, 
It's one area that's often overlooked, and I must reiterate this for a third time, it's the foundation of healthy hair. Now, if you're serious about finally giving your scalp the love and attention that it deserves, I've got just the thing for you. Introducing FXR's Scalp Compendium, the most comprehensive guide on scalp care you'll ever come across. With a whopping 160,000 words, this isn't just another ebook, it's a deep dive into everything related to the scalp. Here's why you need to get your hands on it. Regular updates. This is not a one and done deal. The scalp compendium is going to be regularly updated, ensuring you're always equipped with the latest, greatest, and most effective scalp care techniques. There's also a limited time offer. For those of you watching right now, there's a special 20% off, but you've got to be fast because this offer will not last forever. Enter the code scalpcare, which is on the screen so you can see, and you'll get that 20% off. This is the most in-depth resource on scalp care you'll find anywhere on the market, period. So if you're tired of neglecting your scalp and finally want to invest in its health, this is your chance. Dive deep, learn more, and give your scalp the care it truly deserves. So of course, be sure to check out the scalp compendium in the description box down below and in the cards to the right. Again, that 20% discount is only available for a few days. Brush and comb care. Your brush might be your hair's worst enemy if it's dirty. And when detangling, always moisturize and use flexible bristled brushes. Trust me, your hair will thank you. Now let's elaborate. If you're not cleaning your hair tools regularly, you have poor hygiene and that's on period. I'm not finna sit here and argue with you. You need to clean your brushes. You need to clean your combs. If you're not cleaning them, you're just putting all of that debris, all of that gunk, all of that dirt back into your hair. And of course, if your brushes and combs are left to marinate, they're growing colonies of bacteria that could cause infections down the line. I myself have actually dealt with a fungal infection I'm going to put that information in the cards to the right. Just open it up in another window so you can watch it right after you watch this one. Now I know I got that infection from a stylist doing my hair one good time and using a dirty tool to give me a bun. I'm still actually trying to recover from the bald spot that it left till today. Thank God for my recipe Bible, which of course is in the description box down below and in the cards because a lot of the remedies in there have come to my rescue. My scalp is so much better than where I started. Here are a few reviews of my digital products from you. Be sure to pause to read. But if you don't want to end up like me, be sure to clean your hair tools. It's really not a joke. Aside from that, our hair is already fragile. Hair in general is fragile. No matter how coarse your hair is, you should be opting for a brush or a comb that is flexible. So I prefer my Tangle Teaser or my Tangle Teaser knockoff, which of course you can find in the description box down below because it glides past tangles. It doesn't rip through my hair. It allows me to retain so much more length and keep so much of my hair on my head. Hair ties and bands. Have you ever had a hair tie snap your hair? It's the absolute worst. Not only is it uncomfortable, but you're pulling out hair that's not ready to go yet. Choose materials that slide easily like scrunchies, invisibubbles. You can also use head wraps, but I would never recommend cotton head wraps unless they're microfiber cotton. Personally, I prefer silk, real silk, or real satin. Drying techniques. Are you rubbing your hair dry? Well, that's a big no-no. Press it gently with microfiber towels or use a cotton t-shirt if you don't have microfiber towels. It's 2023, you shouldn't even be considering using a towel and going like this. That's, no, no, it will snag your hair. It will really dry out your hair. It will cause the cuticles to be disturbed and also leading to hydration seeping out of your hair much more quickly. I also would never recommend sleeping with wet hair. Please don't do that. Please do your hair during the day so it has adequate time to dry. If you're against heat, I understand that. You don't have to use it to dry your hair, but you need to ensure that your scalp and your hair are dry. One, because of mildew and mold. Two, because of other types of fungus that can cause infection. And three, don't you value your comfort? <laughs> Leaving on wet hair is really not comfortable at all. I 130% do not recommend. Heat and styling tools. Hot tools can be really deceptive and they can be destroying your hair. Even if they claim to distribute heat evenly, you have to use a heat protectant. Your hair's integrity absolutely 
depends on it. I would never ever blow out my hair without a heat protectant. To me, that's madness. Now, if you're trying to essentially heat damage your hair, which some people will call heat training, then I mean, by all means, do you boo boo. But if you are looking for healthy hair, that maintains its integrity and can still hold its curl pattern, then you definitely need to be using heat protectants at every step. Use one before you blow dry your hair. Use one before you flat iron your hair. Use one before you silk press your hair. And if you happen to go to a stylist or a salon that's not actually practicing safe heat, then you can get the hell up out the chair and run for the high hills. Do not be ashamed to do what is best for you and your hair. Water and washing techniques. Hard water can be a silent hair killer. Consider a shower filter. Even if you have soft water, you don't know what's in the water. Just get a shower filter and it's probably better for you. Now, if you're bougie, your water might be totally filtered from the source, which is really fantastic, you know? If that's you, good for you. But if you're not, there are very affordable shower filters on Amazon, which you can find in the description box down below or in the cards to the right. I'm gonna put some there for you guys because I understand. Now, I myself have actually dealt with hard water when I was living in New York for school. The water was really, really, really hard. Now, all my life living in Maryland, I didn't experience that issue. It was really difficult to deal with. My hair was consistently dry. Now, what I did was I ordered a water filter from Amazon and it changed the game for me. My hair went back to being that silky soft texture I always knew it to be. Now, not only can hard water damage your hair, it can significantly damage your scalp. And that is exactly what happened to me. I ended up getting a fungal infection as a result of that bout of hard water. So again, run from hard water. And if you know what's good for you, just get a shower filter. Even if you feel like your water's soft, you never know what difference it can make in your hair and your skin. Hair treatments. Protective styles are phenomenal, but please give your hair a break every now and again. And while hair masks are indeed a blessing, overdoing it can backfire. So let's first talk about protective styling because I feel like I'm throwing a lot of things at you. 90% of your protective styles should actually be with just your natural hair. Now underneath this wig, I have my hair in just some single braids, which I'll show you guys, of course, in the next frame. And it's one of my favorite styles, not just because it's really, 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 really easy to manage and super comfortable to wear. It keeps my scalp available to receive all of the healthy hair care practices that it needs to thrive and is really lightweight. Some protective styles can do more harm than good. They can rip out the hair, essentially cause friction and rub against the hair, making it really rough and weak. They can be too heavy and cause scalp tension. They can be irritating and cause contact dermatitis. All of these things are really just not cute. <laughs> and I'm a huge advocate of just embracing your natural hair. Now, I love wigs. Why? Because you don't have to glue them down if you don't want to. I mean, of course there are wigs. They're going to be a lot more high maintenance and going to definitely cause that damage, but there are glueless wigs now. There are wigs like this, that are full wigs. There are wigs that are headband wigs. So there are so many options available for those of us who actually value our hair underneath the wigs and just want to break. If you want to go on a protective styling journey to grow out your hair, I would recommend allowing maybe one to two weeks of respite in between every protective style, just so that your scalp can recover from the takedown process and you can treat and prep your hair for the next round of protective styling. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a huge proponent of protective styling when it's done safely and properly. Now when it comes to masking, masking is really important, but you need to understand the texture of your hair. Is your hair fine? Is it a normal thickness or is it coarse? Now as far as the density, is your hair low density, medium density or high density? As far as the texture, are you low porosity? Are you high porosity? Is it a normal porosity? Because all of these factors are going to determine the type of mask that it's going to work most effectively on your hair. For my hair, I'm noticing that because I'm taking better care of my scalp, my strands are now straddling, I think, medium to coarse. The density is very high density and my porosity is ultra low porosity. This means that I focus more on moisturizing masks. I need masks that maybe have like the tiniest, easy we see as a bit of protein or maybe a separate protein treatment that's specifically formulated for low porosity hair in conjunction with a deeply moisturizing, deep conditioning mask. Now, when it comes to my sister, 
who has very, very soft, beautifully high porosity hair, high density hair with medium to fine strands, she definitely needs to be using a mask that has protein. And if it's a stronger protein treatment, that tends to work very effectively for her hair. It's something that she can actually make use of once a week to once every two weeks because it's still going to moisturize her hair while strengthening it and fortifying it. This is why I stress knowing your hair. If you know your hair, you know exactly what to select for it. You know exactly what's going to make it thrive. Hair sunscreen. Now, contrary to popular belief, your hair needs protection from the sun too. Invest in hair-specific sunscreens or UV protective leave-ins. You also need some sunscreen for your scalp, especially if your scalp is exposed or if you have a lower density of hair. Now, as expressed previously, my hair is in single braids with my natural hair right now, so my scalp is definitely touching the elements very well. <laughs> now, because it's like this, I tend to wear a hat. I like to just protect my hair that way. Now, have I found the right hair sunscreen for me? Not yet, but I'm gonna leave a few options for you guys in the description box down below, as well as in the cards. So just go check it out. Let me see if you guys try anything. Comment below if you buy one. Let me know if you like it. Maybe you can help me select one that's going to work very well for me. Diet and hair health. My goodness, your hair reflects what you eat. You are what you eat. That old adage is one of the truest statements anyone has ever made. Whoever came up with that is literally an evil genius because it's true. It's just the truth. You are exactly what you consume. Protein-rich foods, vitamin D3, calcium, biotin, omega-3s especially. All of these things are so essential for beautiful hair, fam. Now, this is a whole other topic on its own, and I've included nutrition and vitamins in my scalp compendium. So, of course, you should still check that out. It's in the description box down below and in the cars to the right. If you guys want a dedicated video on hair health regarding what you consume internally, then please let me know. I'd be more than happy to provide that for you because it's something I'm actually extremely passionate about. I really love taking care of myself and my body. I am very conscious of what I put into my body and I'm working every day to improve that aspect of myself, not just for my hair health, but for my total body wellness. So again, if you want that, Drop some green emojis in the comment section down below. Please and thank you. Now, piggybacking off of that, for me, a holistic approach to hair and health is absolutely paramount. But diet is just one singular piece of the puzzle. Imagine having a complete roadmap, a treasure trove of knowledge, tools, and top tier products all curated to not only ensure your hair grows, but thrives. Well, you don't have to imagine anymore. Introducing FXR's ultimate hair growth bundle. This is not just another bundle, you guys. It's the most impressive collection of hair care knowledge available today. Imagine having every single tool, every secret, every formula you need to make your hair not just grow, but again, thrive. This is your golden ticket. So let me tell you guys what you're getting in this bundle. FXR's Recipe Bible. Dive into 40 plus incredible formulas tailored for both your scalp and your hair. Understand ingredients like never before with a detailed glossary. And get hands-on with comprehensive usage guides for each and every single formula. FXR's Holy Grail. Ever wondered about my absolute favorite products? Get the full list complete with pros and cons and a breakdown of the ingredients I absolutely swear by. FXR's Hair Growth Calendar. This is not just a calendar, it's a three month extreme hair growth journey tailor-made to your hair's unique need. Plus get exclusive access to products and recommendations that I've never ever shared before. FXR's Hair Growth Planner. Organize and track your hair journey with this beautiful, 16 page printable planner. And guess what? This bundle also includes my scalp compendium and FXR's oil renaissance. That's right, the most comprehensive scalp book ever prepared and a deep dive into the world of oils all in one bundle. Now I know what you're thinking. This sounds like a premium package with an even more premium price. And you would be right, but here's the deal. This bundle offers the best value for all of my digital products. It's the most affordable way to access all of my literature because I've given you guys a full on 30 plus percent discount. I think it's 35%. Let me put the actual figure on the screen. If you're serious about your hair and you want the best products on the market for a comprehensive routine, this bundle is your last bus stop. And for a limited time, I'm offering an even more special discount just for you, my loyal viewers. So, at checkout, you can put in Z-Star for an additional amount off. It'll be a little surprise for y'all. We'll see how much it is, but just put in Z-Stars with a Z at the end.
So are you ready to elevate your hair game? Click the link in the description box down below and in the cards to the right and embark on a transformative journey with the Hair Growth Bundle. Trust me, your hair will never stop thanking you. Now moving on to the next one. Avoid tight hairstyles. Constant tension can lead to hair loss. Mix up your hair cells to keep things balanced. So if you're the guy or the gal that does those tight buns, tight ponytails, tight braids, your edges are trying to like shoot back, you feel me? Then you need to stop. Tension is probably the bane of the black woman's existence. It's a lot of the reason why a lot of people are losing their hair. Alopecia is real. And once that hair follicle is dead, the only way to revive it, to exhume it, to bring it back from the grave is actually to transplant it. So unless you're trying to go to Turkey or to one of these more expensive doctors in our very own United States of America or anywhere else around the world, then please stop pulling on your scalp, stop pulling on your hair, stop doing these tight hairstyles. It's really not necessary. You can have a very cute look. It doesn't have to be giving you a facelift. It's really not necessary. Neglecting meditation and prayer. You need to manage your stress. Meditation and deep breathing can help you do that very, very well. Now, aside from actually just calming down and being mindful, prayer is an extremely important component of beautiful hair. Now, guys, you may not know because I'm a little flamboyant. I'm still a cute girl. I try to keep it sexy, but I'm a firm believer in God and I fear God with everything in my being. So I incorporate prayer heavily into my lifestyle. I can fast for days on end, y'all. I can pray, so this is something I don't take lightly. I take it very seriously. And every good thing that you feel I am is as a result of that fear of God. So it's something I don't take for granted. It's something I never neglect, and it's something I need to share with you. If you want to see a difference in your hair, in your life, you need to pray to our creator. There's no two ways about it. And if you're Nigerian or Nigerian American like myself, then you're definitely very familiar with the potency of prayer and the very real issues that some people face with their hair care being that maybe it's a spiritual component. Maybe they're doing everything right and their hair still refuses to grow. Did it not occur to you that there could be some sort of bondage or spiritual blockade that's preventing you from walking in that crown of glory. You feel me? So prayer, prayer is really key. Meditation, I'm not talking about that esoteric new age. Um, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm mean, talking about just calming down, being mindful, even meditating on the word, a Bible verse. That is meditation. Breathing deeply and actually allowing your body to rest. Our body is the temple of God. If you don't do these things, how do you expect it to be healthy? How do you expect it to be whole? If you're not ready to pray, if you're not ready to meditate, if you're not ready to actually just calm down and allow your body to repair itself, then you're not ready to grow some really long hair. And even if you do grow that hair, it's not going to reach its full potential simply because your body is not at ease. So by understanding the science behind all of these tips that I've shared with you all and incorporating them into your routine, you're on the right path to achieving the healthiest version of your hair. Remember, hair care is holistic, encompassing both internal health and external practices. Now, thank you for joining me on this hair revolution. Don't forget to drop the phrase, Hair Revolution with FXR in the comments down below and your name as well. And if you've made it this far, you can also drop some blue emojis in the comment section down below. Everything I mentioned is in the description box and in the card, so feel free to check that out. And remember, every strand on your head is not just a testament to your unique beauty, it's also a testament to the glory of God. Cherish your hair forever. Until next time, I'm sending you all the love, blessings, and good hair vibes. Ta-ta for now.